happy Tuesday smile try thank y'all for tuning in for another video y'all I'm on the way to work and I got the message I want to give to y'all and y'all this car in front of me it is about to run to the back of this truck see this is a lesson that's why you gotta leave for work you know way ahead of time so you don't have to be in a rush and that's something I've been doing better at is making sure I don't wait till last minute to leave because on this highway I'm out on it always be some kind of slow truck or it always be some kind of traffic and this car was about to tear itself up but anyway I got up here to talk to y'all about don't limit yourself I had a conversation with a client the other day and we was talking about like a business idea that she wanted to start and I was just encouraging her to you know go ahead and do it and she was like Lisa I don't think you know nobody would want to pay me for that and I'm like yes they will we was basically talking about life coaching and I was telling her about um Tony Gaskins my mentor dot life I said yeah you should go take your certification program look Tony Gaskins send me a check <laughs> Yeah, Tony Gas, because I'm using your word back on you. I don't even know if you're going to see this video. But no, I was telling her about my mentor.life, how she can sign, she can take his life coaching certification program, and she can become a life coach. Because this is something that she do all the time. Like, just with her being my client, and we'll sit there and have conversations. But she'll tell me about how, you know people at her church or just people in her community or just come and just start talking to her and they feel so comfortable talking to her about you know their problems and she'll give them advice like spiritual advice like relationship advice you know j just things and and uh, we were talking about her business and then I was like yeah you should become a life coach she said people pay for that like and I was just like girl yes and she was just kind of like really like stunned that like people would actually pay for life coaching and I kind of explained it to you to her what I, what I thought it meant to me and I said but do your own research you know whatever because this is something that you do already like why not get monetized off of it you know what I'm saying why not make that a, a side hustle so it was just like she kept going back and saying but kind of in a way like I feel like I'm not qualified and basically i'm like if you have lived life you are qualified like it doesn't even matter what age you are like if you have lived on this earth any amount of time you have learned something and you can teach somebody else and i said you do it all the time anyway for the free 99 i said because it's so many i hear you talk about so many people come to your house and you coach couples or getting them through their you know their situation that you can help somebody else and she was saying, I didn't think that was a gift. And I was like, that is a gift. And we think sometimes like gifts gotta look like something that everybody else do. Like, for example, I have a gift of doing hair. Nobody taught me how to do hair. Nobody taught me how to do hair. My mama didn't teach me how to do hair, nobody. It was a gift from God. And the reason why I knew me doing hair was a gift from God, because when I used to go to the hair salon growing up, I would, I would just be so, intrigued with the hairstylist i don't know why but i love going to the hair salon and get my hair done which a lot of kids don't a lot of kids don't even like to sit up on the dryer i was one of those kids that i enjoyed when it was time for me to go up on the dryer now i know that seem kind of weird but some of y'all to to hear because y'all hate the dryer but i would enjoy it i would be so intrigued okay and I remember growing up too, one of my, um, one of the ladies who went to our church, she used to do our hair. I used to just watch her all the time. So when I would get baby dolls, I would ask my mama every, every Christmas, I want my mom to buy me baby dolls and mannequin heads. Because I just started picking up baby dolls and started doing their hair. It was just a natural gift. Nobody taught me how to braid. I just watched people and then I did it. I just did it. It just came to me. Like, everything I know how to do, I just watch people and I just do it, okay? As long as I practice enough, I know how to do it. So that's a gift. And so, 
sometimes we think, oh, well, we had to have a gift for singing and blah, blah, blah. But just you, I said, you have a gift on, I told my class, I said, you have a gift on you because people feel so comfortable and they feel so inclined to come tell you all their business because they, they sense that Jesus juice on you. <laughs> I said Jesus juice. But no, they sense something about you where you make people feel comfortable telling their business or, you know, expressing how they feel and you're a good listener. People will pay for that. And people want an unbiased opinion, like somebody who really don't know them, who they can come and just talk to and they can just coach them through life. And I said, you have to stop limiting yourself. And she was like, Lisa, you're right. Because, and this message is for y'all. This is not just about me and my client, but I'm using this example just for everybody else that sometimes your gift and we can't compare what I give to like compared to the other person because one of her struggles was like oh this person they know how to cook they know how to cut hair they know how to play instruments and I just thought I wasn't gifted but God has placed a gift inside each and every one of us okay and you might be watching me and but oh yeah at least you know how to hear you this one blah, blah, blah. but your gift don't have to look like mine it don't have to look like mine you are gifted in the area you are gifted so you cannot limit yourself think like oh i can't do that oh i'm not qualified this just reject those lies that people tell you because that's a lot that is a lot of reasons why we're at the place we at right now like we don't believe in ourselves enough and that's something that i had to work through like excuse me when i decided to you know y'all been hearing me say the last couple of videos if you've been following me how now i offer hair coaching and for a while i was like you know uh, I ain't been in the game long enough. I'm not one of them veterans. Like, I ain't in my 50s or 60s. So, I don't know if anybody can listen to me. You know, I'm just like, why am I telling myself that lie? Clearly, I have a gift. Clearly, I have a gift. People, come to, people subscribe to my channel to get hair tips. So what makes you think you're not qualified, Lisa, to coach people through their hair? People DM you and ask you questions all the time. All the time. So what makes you think you're not qualified to be a hair coach? I mean, I've been doing hair, I mean, since I was a little girl. So that qualifies me as a hair coach. That qualifies me as a hair coach. Like, I've been doing this, I was about to say since I was out the womb, but... I've been doing this since I was a little girl, as early as I can remember, like, just playing with baby doll's hair. So, that was something that came natural to me, and I know that was a gift for God, and I know God placed the gift of me doing hair to reach women, because God already knew I was going to go through some raggedy relationships and go through some situations, so he had to build me up and put me in these situations in order for me to grow, in order for me to learn, because there are going to be some ladies that's going to sit in my chair and I'm going to be able to relate to them. I'm going to be able to relate to them and understand what they're going through because of the things I went through and be able to encourage other women. So if y'all don't get nothing else out of this video, remember that you have a gift. You have a gift and don't limit yourself don't limit yourself do not limit yourself don't tell yourself those lies that you're not qualified you know what I, I told somebody I told um uh, one of my colleagues we had a mastermind mastermind call last week and we were talking about our business ideas and stuff like that and I told her I said you know I'm gonna stop limiting myself I'm gonna stop thinking that oh I'm not qualified to do it oh I can't do it yes you can do it yes you can you can do anything you set your mind to do anything and the reason why the, the only difference between a lot of these mil millionaires or a lot of these people as you see as successful is they didn't limit themselves they didn't think that they couldn't do it they didn't say oh i'm not qualified no they had the confidence they had the nerve to get up here pick up a camera 
pick up a comb, pick up a brush, pick up a paintbrush, pick up a microphone, if you've seen, and use their gift. So that's just the motivation I have for y'all this morning on the way to work. Why is there so much traffic right here? I don't know what's going on, but anyway, that's the message I have for y'all today. Thank y'all so much for listening to this video. I will see y'all another one. Bye. Lisa, I said, hey, little Lisa, she's sliding through with the glow butters. She's sliding through with the glow butters. Uh huh. I said, hey, little Lisa, do a Lisa, hey, little Lisa. Do a Lisa sliding on through with the glow butters. I said sliding on through with the glow butters. I said Marie glow. I said mango. I said Caribbean escape. What you trying to do? I said Marie glow. I said zaddy. I said let's get it glow butters. Let's go.